Warning, this product contains extreme nostalgia. Has your job got you down? Is adulting not as fun as you thought it would be? Do you want a way to recapture that happiness from when you were a kid? At Retrostalgia Box, you feel like a kid again. Comics, toys, and video games hand curated from the past and straight to your door. Unbox happiness at RetrostalgiaBox.com. Once again, that's RetrostalgiaBox.com. Yeah! Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smasher Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Real World Chronicles. It is all elite wrestling. That's right. And tonight, AEW is recording Rampage. We are in Laredo, Texas, at the Sames Auto Coliseum. Maybe it's pronounced Samas. I don't know. We're at this Auto Coliseum in Laredo, Texas. It's the real venue that AEW used, so we're sticking with it. Okay, so let's take a look at our absent workers here. It is nothing but the usuals and what we expect. No surprises. Our backstage instance. What's going on here, Dustin Rhodes? It's another guy with half his face painted. All right, he organized a poker tournament. Thanks, Dustin. Yeah, we have some protege work going on here. There we go. All right. I don't know how Brock Anderson isn't the protege of his dad, Arn Anderson, but that's the way it's set up. Nonetheless, all right, let's take a look at our card for tonight, everybody. And I decided to add a couple more dark matches. So we're going to have a total of four. And again, our people need reps, right? So on these dark matches, we're going to see Bandito in action, a tag match with Anna Jay and Tape Ty Mello. We're going to see Kip Sabian in singles action. We're also going to see the Guns in tag team action. So now, for the main card of Rampage, in our opener, we're going to see Daniel Garcia versus Darby Allen. We're going to see the Lucha Brothers challenge FTR for the world tag team title. We're going to see Anthony Henry against Powerhouse Hobbs. And then our main event, everybody, we're going to see Sammy Guevara take on Kenny Omega. Now, we're also going to see some an FTR promo a Britt Baker promo, and also a Kenny Omega promo. So with that said, everybody, with all that said, let's get to booking. Here we go. Open it up with our first dark match here. And it is going to be something dragon against my man Bandito. I like Bandito. And what is this uh, zombie dragon? There it is, zombie dragon. I believe Bandito is the brother of Roosh, who I'm not a fan of and sent down to Ring of Honor. All right, here we go. Five minutes on this one. And we are going to have Bandito continue his winning ways and get the win here in a nice enhancement match. All right, that one's all set. Up next here, we have the ladies tag match, which is Blue and Gracia. Gracia. It's not Garcia, it's Gracia. So we're going to have Blue. Yeah, we got to do this right, sorry. There's Dark. Blue and Gracia versus Jay and Mello. Another five minute bout here. And it is Angel Blue against Alex 
Gracia. And they, of course, are going to face Jay and Mello. Oh, messed that one up. All right, here we go. We are going to have Ty Mello get the win. That's not a nice picture of her. Her face looks very bloated. But, hey, just my opinion. All right, this one is booked and ready to go. I just noticed that. I mean, that's serious pie face in that picture. Poor lady. She is a pretty woman. All right, Ricky Mendel is going to face Kip Sabian in our next dark match. So here we go. Not Howie Mendel, but Ricky Mendel. This one's going to go five minutes. And here is Ricky Mun Mandel. Mandel, there it is. And he, of course, is facing Kip Sabian. Here's the Kip. He's got some chilly momentum going on. That's all right. We're going to get him a win here. I think Kip Sabian's a pretty good wrestler. I like having him around. All right. This one is all set. And I got to adjust that to Mandel. Not that it really matters, but I have those OCD tendencies. All right. Aiden Cross and Gunner Miller versus the Guns. You know, I remember my nephew is 22 now. And I remember when he was like five and he was playing hockey. And every kid on the team was named Aiden. And I always thought to myself, like, what do you, I know it's like, a, it's a, Aiden's an English name, a Scottish name, that kind of thing. That name's been around forever. We all know this. Irish, you know. Uh, but then it comes to America, and it's, what are you going to call the kid for sure? Like, hey, AIDS, my opinion. Just what I thought. It was a little crazy. All right. Cross and Miller versus the Guns. I, who knows if that actually happened, but, you know, it could have. All right, here's Aiden Cross. I spelled his name wrong. And here is Gunner Miller. And they are facing the guns. All right, so, yeah, we're good to go. And we'll give the win to Colton Gunn. All right, we're all set on that last enhancement match, and now we are ready to go to our main show here. So Daniel Garcia and Darby Allen are going to open it up. They're going to go 12 minutes. And this would actually be a pretty good opener. Two guys, like size, fast as lightning, both of them, probably be a pretty darn good match. The question would be, do either of them have the psychology to slow things down or is it just going to be a typical AEW car crash? That's the, that's the question. We're going to leave this one open-ended. It doesn't matter to me who wins. I don't have any big plans for either of these men. All right, FTR is going to cut their promo. And of course, they are now in a feud with the Briscoes. So we will be sure to put that in there. And we have Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler. They are going to talk to Renee Paquette, and they're talking about Jay and Mark Briscoe. There's Jay Briscoe. Here is Mark Briscoe. All right. Entertainment, entertainment, off screen, off screen. Now, we've seen where FTR hasn't gotten the greatest of ratings. Let's see if Renee Paquette can help them. All right, that one's all set. Up next, we have the Lucha Brothers facing FTR. And here we have two very serious wrestlers, the World Tag Team Champions, who can really, really go. And then we have the Lucha Brothers that are all over the place doing really crazy stuff. And uh, a lot of times it doesn't make sense, hopefully. FTR can get them to slow down and make some sense here. And we are going to have Cash Wheeler get the win for his team. All right, this one is booked. And moving right along here, we're going to have a big Britt Baker promo. And of course, she's cutting that promo on Soraya. So here we go. Britt Baker. 
She is talking to Renee Paquette. She's talking about that Soraya. Soraya is off screen. Britt Baker is based on entertainment. And that one, everybody, is booked. All right, up next we have Anthony Henry versus Powerhouse Hobbs. And this is going to be a squash match. As we continue to get Powerhouse Hobbs over. All right, so here is Powerhouse Hobbs. He's not managed by anybody, is he? Stokely Hathaway would work out well for him. I'm going to make that change right now. He could use a manager because he doesn't talk that well. Um, can I do it? Uh, let's book this. Let me see if I can do it from the other screen. All right, so this one's saved. We are going to have Hobbs go over, of course. This one's booked. Now let's take a look at our roster. Powerhouse Hobbs. He is not managed by anybody. We're going to put him with Stokely Hathaway. I like Stokely Hathaway. He's got that obnoxious thing going for him. And I think he's going to work well with Powerhouse Hobbs. All right, up next here, we have a Kenny Omega promo. He's going to go six minutes on this promo. He is not in a feud with anybody. So it's just going to be an open promo. We're going to try to get him in a feud soon. I'm just not sure with who. And he is going to talk to Rene Paquette. He's based on entertainment. This one is booked. All right, here's our big main event. We're going to have this one go 14. And it is going to be Guevara versus Omega. And Sammy Guevara is a guy that needs to learn how to slow things down, learn some basic psychology. Wrestling is not just move after move after move. Kenny Omega, and again, I am not the biggest fan of Kenny Omega, but I will say that Kenny Omega knows how to wrestle when he has to wrestle. I fear in a match like this, he would go the car crash route with Guevara, just because he seems to be the type that brings himself down to other people's levels. But in my fantasy booking mind right now, with this match being 14 minutes, I have the hopes that Omega would slow things down and actually work a wrestling match. Either way, Kenny Omega is going to continue his winning ways and get the win here. This one is booked. We have to cut three minutes off. Okay, so we'll cut this one down to 12 minutes and we will cut down. We're going to make Henry and Hobbs match. I can't change it. Cut it down to five minutes, which I probably meant to do in the first place. And here we go. We're at 65. We're ready to rock here, everybody. Let's see how we do. All right. Bandito gets the win over Zombie Dragon. 36 overall. Hey, they had good chemistry. Now we know next time we do a dark show or something else in this area. A little bit of green here. That's good. And next, we have Ty Mello getting the win over Angel Blue with that cross arm bar. And Anna J and Ty Mello continue their winning ways. Ty Mello can kind of go in the ring. I've watched her. She's, she's good. Lots of green here. Green equals money. Not a bad enhancement match there. All right, Ricky Mandel versus Kip Sabian. They don't click. Imagine that. Red text of doom. We get a whopping 34 here on this match, but Kip Sabian... Picks up the win. The Guns get the win here over Aiden Cross and Gunnar Miller. I just thought of that now. There was three guns in this one. <laughs> and a 32 overall as the Gun Brothers continue to grow as a team. And they, of course, are also managed by Stokely Hathaway, who used to have that stupid stable, The Firm, and we don't have any more. All right, up next... In our opener, we have Garcia and Allen, and Darby Allen gets the win with the coffee, coffin drop. Like I said before, either way this went, match went was just fine with me, and seeing Darby Allen get the win is a good thing. Up next here, we have FTR cutting their promo, and I do believe that Rene Paquette did help them out here, which is good. Lots of green, 64 promo overall. I'll take it. I like it. 
And here we have the Lucha Brothers against FTR. And Ray Phoenix is outscoring everybody here. Actually, I think that's supposed to be pronounced Ray Phoenix or Phoenix. Ray, of course, means king. I don't know what Phoenix means, but uh, he outscores everybody here with an 86. And just so you know, everybody, I have not touched the stats for anyone, and I'm not going to because people get all upset over that and real touchy. You're cheating! You're cheating! So I do not want to be accused of cheating! So I'm not doing it. So this is just the way the game was programmed. And Rito and Reap, everybody, 80. And a big title defense here for FTR as they continue their winning ways. All right, Britt Baker with Renee Paquette. They get themselves a 73 on this promo. Good stuff, I'll take it. Continues that feud. Anthony Henry gets smashed by Powerhouse Hobbs. 32 overall as Powerhouse Hobbs continues his way. And look at that. Stokely Hathaway did some good work at ringside. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, Kenny Omega gets a little bit weaker of a promo than what I'd hoped for. Gets himself a 77, but we get lots of green text here. And you just never know what anybody is going to get on promos in this mod. You just never know. They're all over the place. All right, up next, we have Guevara and Omega, and we get a 79 overall. Let's see if there's any takeaways here. There's not. So, hey, what are you going to do? All right, not bad. Omega gets the win with the one-winged angel, and that's a pretty good episode of Rampage, everybody. I like it. We're going to finish this one up. 74 overall. We get a big increase across 37 regions. Of course, we have limited television in these other foreign regions, but that's cool. We're still getting gains. Things are still happening. So good stuff. We're going to finish this one up. That's going to take us over to Dynamite, of which we are not going to record on this episode because it's going to take too long. But next time we do record for AEW, uh, I may not do Dynamite. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, because I am playing this mod for pleasure also, as you know, so we're not picking up every show. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I may do another episode and do Dynamite. I may not. We may come back. We'll be two weeks later in the game. You just never know. But I did want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in today. For those of you that are new to the channel, and there are lots of you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and drop us a message below. Let us know what you think of the show so far. Let us let me know what you think of the mod. What do you, let me know what you think of my modern day booking. I'm curious to know. Uh, is there anything you would do differently? Is there anything you'd like? Anything you want to see more of? Let me know how it goes. All right. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I also run the 1987 Super Mod and the shows associated with that. So any of you that are interested in the 1987 Super Mod, you can head on over to patreon.com slash group. I'm sorry, patreon.com slash powercast network. And you can find all of our shows early and YouTube ad-free over there along with all of our spreadsheets are available. The link to the 1987 Super Mod is available. And there's just a lot of good stuff over there. We continue to grow in membership on Patreon and people seem to really enjoy the product. So I think you might too. Packages start out at just $5 a month, everybody. $5. Also, you can check us out over on social media, facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. And don't forget, we're also on Discord under 1987 Supermod. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time.